Hello, my name is Andrew Stuff, and uh, my presentation is going to be over my uh, literature review of the cultivation theory. Um, this theory was created by George Gerbner. Uh, George Gerbner was born on August 8th, 1919 in Budapest, Hungary. He was a professor of communications at many prestigious colleges such as Temple University, Villanova University, and the University of Pennsylvania. Um, as I mentioned before, he is the founder of cultivation theory, uh, which he came up with in the 1960s. And this theory basically states that um, the cultivation theory is a sociological and communication framework. Uh, it suggests that people who are regularly exposed to media over long periods of time um, are more likely to perceive the world at the world's social realities as they are presented um, by the media they consume which in turn affects their behaviors and attitudes uh, throughout day-to-day -day life. Um, so what is cultivation? Uh, it's the process of developing a quality uh, or a skill. And so, I mean, it kind of makes sense why he named it the cultivation theory. Um, you're developing the skill that was given to you by something else. Um, so through Gerber's research, he was trying to prove that the media cultivates you basically. Um, and so now that we've talked about the theory, let's go into his research. Uh, he had three main points for collecting his data. Um, institutional analysis, uh, the message system analysis, and finally cultivation analysis. Um, number one, the institution analysis, uh, it examined the production and the management and uh, the di distribution of the message itself, how it came to you, how it's um, being processed and created. Second, we had the message system analysis where he and his team would investigate the image itself and they would take a look at it and um, kind of find out what they believed on, about the image themselves. And then finally, the uh, cultivation analysis. Uh, this is looking at uh, the sociological view and how the viewers would interact and view the message themselves. So it was kind of like they would actually ask them and they would get their responses. And so through this, he came to the conclusion that um, heavy viewership of the media can allow them to uh, affect and develop your um, different abilities and skills and uh, just um, behaviors as well. And so I would like to take this research a step further and we can take a look at kind of a similar situation in today's times. Um, a big thing is violence in video games. Do, does violence in video games affect adolescents' behavior? And as they are developing their brains, does it desensitize them, uh, allowing them to become more violent? Um, and if we use the same research style and the same methods and even using his theory, um, one could very easily come to a conclusion, I believe, um, the media in this case isn't television, but it's the video games themselves and how they're playing and what they're playing and how the developers created this game. And then your viewers are not just adults and anybody else, but we're specifically looking at the adolescence range between um, when, whenever they first pick up a controller to uh, probably 18 years old. Um, so this is a cultivation theory and how it was observed. So thank you for watching.